The speed of a runner increased steadily during the first three seconds of a race. Her speed at half second intervals is given in the table. Find the lower and upper estimates for the distance she traveled during these three seconds. We're going to use a similar process to what we did in the previous video where we find area of rectangles. Think of the velocity as the height of each of these rectangles and then the time will be the base of those rectangles. So if we look at the left hand approximation, L6, we'll use six rectangles here. Notice the base of each rectangle is one half or 0.5 going from 0 to 0.5 is a half, again a half from going 0.5 to 1, and so on. So the base of each rectangle is 0.5. And then we want to multiply by the height of each of these rectangles. And since we're using left-hand endpoints, we're going to start with 0. So we have 0.5 times 0 plus the base, 0.5, times the next height, which is 6.2, plus the base, 0. 0.5, times 10.8, plus the base, times 14.9, plus the base, times 18.1, plus the base, times 19.4. Now we don't include the last time interval because we're looking at left hand endpoints that's going to not include the far right endpoint. So if we sum all of this up in the calculator, we get 34.7 feet. So this is the approximate distance traveled using left hand endpoints. If we use right-hand endpoints, we'll do a similar process, but we're going to be starting with 6.2 as our height. The base is still the same. The base of these rectangles is half a second. The height of the first rectangle is 6.2 plus 0.5 times 10.8 plus 0.5 times 14.9 plus 0.5 times 18.1 plus 0.5 times 19.4 and this time we do go to the far right since we're dealing with right hand endpoints and this time when we sum these up we get that the distance is rough 44.8 feet so notice we're getting different values. The left hand is an underestimate. The right hand endpoints are an overestimate.